So in today's web dev tip, we're going to do a bit more configuration and setup on our server in order to host our project. And the next step we need to do is to get uh, some kind of uh, web server set up uh, to enable us to both serve our static files, such as our HTML and JavaScript files, uh, but also uh, something to actually host our API as well. And we're going to be using Nginx to do this. So Nginx is a, a form of web server software, which will basically enable us to host both our node application and any front-end content that we need to. So let's start off by logging onto the uh, server. So I'm going to log on to our droplet uh, as the root user so we can install some software easily. And first thing we need to do is just make sure that our package list is up to date. Uh, so we're getting the latest versions of everything. And we do that with the command sudo apt update. So there is a packaging system available in Ubuntu and other Debian based systems, uh, which is called apt. And this is all of the software repositories uh, that can be installed onto the actual server itself. So just running sudo apt update, we'll just make sure that all of our uh, packages are up to date and we've got the latest uh, versions of everything available to us. And once that's done, uh, we can just then install Nginx. And we do that with the command sudo apt install. And then the software is just called nginx, short for nginx. So if we just run that, uh, it should go through and check if the uh, packages are available. And uh, it should then come through and ask us if we want to uh, install it. You might get a prompt uh, saying, do you want to install these files? So you just have to uh, say yes to that and it will carry on with the installation. And we can check that Nginx is running just by using a special uh, program, a special command line tool called System Control, uh, if that's installed on your Ubuntu operating system. And uh, System Control, and then we say status and Nginx. So if we just run that, uh, you can see that that's uh, running and uh, we've got some information about how Nginx has been set up there. Uh, but as long as you see this running symbol here, then uh, we can tell that we've installed Nginx and that it is actually serving some content. And there's another test you can do as well. So if we just grab the IP address of the server that we've got, uh, we should be able to have web traffic now going to this IP address because uh, we've got Nginx installed. So if we head back on over to our browser and just paste into a new tab, uh, you should be able to browse that IP address in your browser and you should see this uh, Nginx welcome page. Uh, so we can now say that Nginx is configured and is now serving web content. So there's a couple of things to do uh, to get us actually set up and serving some content and not least is actually transferring some files across. Uh, but before we do that, we'll dive into the Nginx configuration and just make sure that uh, our Nginx setup is configured to work with the folders uh, that we configured in the previous tutorial. But there you go, we've got Nginx set up and that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.